Hello guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Today we have the new Corsair RMX line. And we start with the flagship of the series, the RM1000X. OEM, Channel Well Technology or CWT. The major differences with the older line from 2018. Magnetic levitation fan with increased lifetime especially under high operating temperatures. Modern standby compatibility for fast wake from sleep times, meaning that the power OK signal is lower than 150 milliseconds. High efficiency under super light and light loads. 3 EPS connector. 3 EPS connectors. 3 PS in the 1000 and 150 watts unit. This is insane. 3 PS. Who needs 3 PS? In any case, there are no uh, compatible mainboards yet. Compatible, I mean, no mainboards with 3 PS connectors, but obviously, Corsair knows something more to use so many EPS in its new RMX line. And uh, cybernetics ratings besides the 80 plus ratings. Okay, efficiency cybernetics gold and 80 plus gold. Noise cybernetics A minus, meaning 25 to 30 dBA average noise output. Modular, yes, they are fully modular, all members of the line. Dimensions uh, the RM1000X is larger than the other members of the line with 180 mm depth so it's a little larger than the typical price $190 warranty 10 years single 12 volt rail and 150 watts maximum combined power on the minor rails also the 12 volt rail can deliver the unit's full power alone Cables, as I told you already, three connectors EPS on dedicated cables, six PCI Express connectors, 14 SATA, 14 SATA, and eight 4 pin Molex connectors. A huge amount of cables and connectors for this unit. Cable length and distance between them. All cables are long but the distance between the peripheral connectors is only 100 millimeters. In, in my opinion, I would like to see at least 150 millimeters between the peripheral connectors to ensure compatibility with all chassis. In cable caps, unfortunately, yes, on the ATX, the EPS and PCI Express cables for better ripple suppression. Internal design and build quality. The OEM hasn't changed. It's still CWT like the older RMX line. Uh, the platform now has several differences from the previous platform to offer improved performance and ATX 2.52 version compatibility. The major change is the new fan, the magnetic levitation fan while the PCB's dimensions remain the same. No downsizing, thankfully, normal dimensions, and this means better airflow and not high operating noise. Corsair used good capacitors on both primary and secondary sides, and the MOSFETs are of high quality as well. Uh, this is an expensive platform, I could say, especially if we take into account the inflated prices nowadays and in almost every PSU component. Caps and fan manufacturers. Chemicon and Rubicon provide the electrolytic caps, while the polymer caps are by FP cap. The fan now has Corsair's badge, but of course it isn't made by Corsair because Corsair doesn't have a fan protection line. I know the OEM of the fan, but I cannot reveal it for now. Protection features. OCP at 12V and 
all the power protection are correctly set and this is good news of course. On the other hand, uh, the OCP triggering points on the minor rails are sky high. Typical stuff I would say. They don't create any voltage regulation or ripple issues though, but there's no need for such high amperage on the minor rails. On top of that, DC-DC converters can easily wear off with such high power if somebody manages to push them so much, especially under tough operating conditions. Average efficiency. The platform needs a small efficiency boost to reach the levels of the old platform, at least. Average PF. The PFC converter does a very good job with both voltage inputs, 115 volts and 230 volts. Average noise output. The older RM1000X has lower overall noise output. But you cannot call this unit noisy either since it is below 30 dBA average noise output. Overall performance. The new unit scores a little higher than the older model. Bottom line, the time has come for Corsair to revamp one of its most popular PSU lines and the result is very good. For starters, the new RM1000X achieves higher overall performance than the older model. It uses a higher quality fan, it has super high efficiency at light loads and it is compatible with the alternative sleep modes, including Microsoft's model standby. The only problem now with the alternative sleep modes is good luck finding a compatible mainboard that allows you to take advantage of them. There is not much competition in the 1000 watts gold category since most PSUs with similar capacity are either platinum or titanium. A good and more expensive alternative option is the Seasonic Prime Gold 1000 which achieves higher performance. Still, it doesn't have such a good cooling fan and its overall noise output is notably higher than Corsair's offering. And pros, full power at 47 degrees Celsius, high overall performance, quiet operation, fully compliant with the ATX version 2.52, highly efficient at light loads, long hold up time, low inrush currents, magnetic levitation fan, loads of cables and connectors, fully modular, and the 10-year warranty. And cons, high OCP triggering points on the minor rails, a small overall efficiency boost would be nice, in-cable capacitors which most users will hate, and a small distance between the peripheral connectors. All in all, an excellent unit from Corsair. Kudos to Corsair and John Zero, the R&D director for another fine product. Thank you for watching another video from Hardware Busters International. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.